I'm basically just trying to curl my toes up to the sky. And before I even do that, I should come back and talk about this. If I don't have a good foundation, I mean, my balance is off. This is gonna be tough for me to have good technique with my foot. Even if my, even if my technique is good, if my balance is off, I'm not gonna be able to perform the skill. So especially with all these stall tricks, before you go into it and worry about what you're doing with the ball, worry about the plant, the foundation in your planting leg. So I'm, I'm spreading my toes. I'm kind of gripping them into the ground with all my toes. I'm making a good foundation. I don't want to be my tendency, especially on these new boots and they're super narrow. The tendency is all your weight comes to the outside of the foot. So as soon as you're going to stall, I'm already falling away. I've already lost it before I even try it. So focus on good foundation. Then I'm trying to get it in that pocket. I'm basically curling my toes up to the sky. I'm almost curling my toes towards my shin and I might get a pocket between my toes and my shin and the ball's just sitting in here, but I have to have that hard flex. In the beginning, it's probably gonna be awkward for you to flex your foot that hard. So I would just recommend if you're super beginner, just start like this, even with your foot on the ground, your heel on the ground, put it in that pocket there, just with your hand and just stay there and just flex. Just try to keep it there as long as you can. Okay, then when you get comfortable, you can come off the ground like this. And then next step is actually moving the ball and stalling. You can start with a bounce and a stall. And I would definitely recommend going with both feet. This is actually a really good skill or a really good drill to improve the strength in your weaker foot. Just doing a basic foot stall with your weak foot. A lot of people would really struggle with this on their weaker side, but if you're a progressive soccer player, no weak feet, you always use both. Next, I will go into an ankle stall. So, again, super beginner, just start like this, start on the ground. But basically, I'm trying to trap it anywhere on my leg, but with the inside of my foot here, on the side of my leg, you can just start like that, trap it, and just play around like that. Okay, and just play around with moving it up and down the leg. And then I was doing kind of like a heel pop, rolling it up my leg and then popping it with the heel. Okay, so roll up the leg. As you get high, you kind of lean out of it, a little jump, and then I'm popping it with the heel, boom, of my other foot to bring the ball up. Next would be a knee stall. So again, maybe start with a bounce. Maybe, maybe just start like this. And it's a little tricky depending on the angle, but it's all about timing with this one. You're trying to clap, trying to clap your knees together at the right time with appropriate weight from both sides. So it's a little bit timing and kind of, and watch how I'm kind of like watching the bull as it comes here and just almost, I'm almost like getting out of the way here and as it lands, just clapping, bringing my knees together. Not too hard. If you're too hard, let's see. If you're too hard, it's, it's gonna pop out. Okay, so it's like a subtle, it's like a soft, a soft absorption. And you can come out of it in several different ways, as you'll see in this video. Next, I'm doing a head stall. Okay, so head stall, and it's tough. Again, with all these, start with the ball in your hand, super beginner, and just place it there. But most players will struggle with this. Let me do a bit. Most players will struggle with this because they don't actually face uh, vertical enough. Even when they're doing like basic headers. If you're struggling with this skill, you're probably going forward too much or backwards too much. You have to find that proper uh, angle of the neck so you're straight up to the sky. And then it's all about the little adjustments. As the ball moves, the ball's not gonna stay perfectly still. So I have to adjust my head. I'll give you a better example than that. I have to adjust my head and move with it. And the rotate, or the, the cord control to stay under the ball as the ball moves. 
Okay, so as it moves, I'll move with it. After a certain point, you get pretty good at keeping it still. Okay, but I'm always adjusting. As I feel the ball, I feel it running away. So I try to move with it and stay underneath it. But again, just start with the hands and then over time, you go with the head technique and that's tough. And I don't want you to think that when I'm doing these in the video, I'm nailing it every single time. I'm making mistakes all the time. You're gonna make mistakes in the beginning. Biggest thing with any skill, whether it's freestyle tricks or shooting technique, any new skill that you're trying, you're going to make mistakes. Don't expect yourself to be good when you just started. Mistakes are part of it. Just don't allow yourself to get frustrated. If you can control anger and frustration, you will improve much faster. So many kids will try a few times, young players, any age, get frustrated right away, give up, never improve, go on to something they're good at, rather than trying to get better at things that they're not good at. You wanna struggle. Challenge is good, challenge is what makes you better. So just compose yourself, no frustration, no anger. Just analyze, if I'm always screwing up, just don't screw up in the same way. Okay, so if I'm always doing, let's say for example, this head stall, if I'm always doing this and the ball always falls forward, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna allow it to fall forward. If anything, I'm gonna make it fall backwards. Do different mistakes. Don't allow yourself to do the same mistake again and again. Analyze the failure, analyze the technique, try to improve it and you'll improve faster. But just keep calm, keep playing, have fun with the ball, it's all good. So we actually missed one there, skipped one, which was this next hole. So I'm cuffing it between my shoulder blades. Now like super beginner would be, I would say like really flex the arms and especially like if you're a young player or you don't have any muscle definition in your back, you're really gonna have to overemphasize the squeeze of the shoulder blades because I'm making a pocket in here and in here I'm making a pocket. So if I don't have a muscle definition in my back, it's gonna be a bit tougher and I really have to overemphasize that. For me, I can, I'm pretty casual with it. I can, I don't have to flex too much, but if I really wanna keep it up there, I should do a little more of a flex there. But I'm keeping it in that pocket there. Back of the neck, flexing, flexing the head back a bit. The head's not straight like this, it's flexed back, shoulder blades are back like that. I added a few basic juggling tricks. The other ones are more stalls. These are tricks while juggling. And the first one was like a heel touch. Okay, so I'm just hitting the ball with the heel on top of that. Most players will struggle with this because it's the flex of the foot and the timing and they're not actually hitting here. I'm basically hitting on like the hard part of my boot. Like this part, the very back of the boot, not the, not the inside, not the, definitely not the studs. And a very advanced skill is like where they cradle it right in here. But for here, I'm popping it off the edge. And honestly, what you really want to become good at is the set of the skill. So what I mean by that is when it's time to do the trick, if this touch right here isn't good, isn't where you want to go, then you're always gonna struggle because you're gonna have to adjust your body positioning. So really focus, when you're about to do that skill, really focus on this touch, the touch before the skill. Put it exactly where you want, just with a little more focus, a little more of a delicate touch. Okay, but I'm just hitting there, reaching around, hitting with that sole. Next, I did a jester. I don't know what you call it. We always call it a jester, or like a court jester for some reason. Ooh, and then my set's no good. Okay, so it's up here. I'm popping the ball up, I'm going around it. And I'm hitting, I'm going around it, boom. Hitting with the foot that I actually set it with. Around with this one. And I'm jumping in the air. Okay, play with that one. And again, try with both feet. Always try with both feet, especially from the beginning. Don't wait for 10 years of doing 
10 years of playing soccer, playing football, and then decide to improve your weak foot, do it from the beginning. I've never had, I've never had bad feet because I've never had a weak foot. Maybe my left wasn't as good as my right for a while. Now they're both the same. My weaker foot might even be better than my strong foot in many ways because I always do skills, drills with both feet. Last skill we did was around the world. And I'll do a full tutorial on this one because I know everyone always asks about this skill. Okay, but I'm just putting my foot around the ball. I'm kicking it and putting my foot around the ball and keeping it up, getting back to it before the ball hits the ground. So left foot better. And I didn't do it that way for this one, but so the reason most players struggle with this one is because you have to understand it's it's two motions in one. A lot of players when they start out, they're kicking the ball up, just like a juggling touch, they're kicking it up and then I'm kicking it and then I'm trying to put my foot around. It's never gonna happen. You have to do it in one motion. So I'm actually, the touch is more like this. It's not a normal juggle touch. It's like a freestyle juggle, they would call it, like a freestyle jugglers. Freestyle jugglers usually juggle something like this with no spin, so they can perform tricks better. When you have spin on the ball, it's tougher to do a lot of skills. But when you're doing that around the world touch, use that freestyle juggler touch at the same time. So you're not kicking it and then going. It's at the same time. I'm picking up and I'm already starting my circle in that motion. Same time. Okay, so it's a touch and a circle at the same time. And then I just get back to it before the ball hits the ground. So, those are some beginner freestyle juggling tricks. Remember, tricks are cool at the end of the day. It's about winning games, scoring goals, making tackles, defending, keeping possession.